Good afternoon. Welcome to my second match of the Mixed World Tournament for Academy Lanes in Haverhill, Mass. Along with Bob Lee and Paul Grant. It's great to be with you. Teams from Canada and Northern Maine all over the place here today, tomorrow and Sunday. Our second of 21 matches. Matt Nichols, How's captain of D Generation X. Yes. Tell us how you got the name. Uh, it's from WWE. They were a, uh, a group in WWE in the 90s, and uh, they're the bad boys. So we're the bad boys of bowling. Do you want to wrestle? You want to wrestle Scott Douglas down right now? I want to wrestle Timmy if he can't figure <laughs> out how to hit a single pin. He got a 179. Yes, he did. First he would have had a 200 if he could hit a single pin. Wow. He had a 190 <laughs> early this year, also. You had a 132. Yeah, I started a little strong. Too, and you're taking on nothing to lose today. Yep. Good friends of ours. Very good strength. All right. Well, and Kate Finn also there also. Kate's ready. The backbone behind uh, Danny Finn. Kate, come on up here. This is Kate oh, Finn. Oh, Nicholas, Danny Finn's wife. Oh. Kate Finn. Great job on outrun the bear. Oh, Danny you. Finn. Great job of the ACST. You're in the ACST next season. Yeah. Your thoughts on being in that? Well, I'm excited that I've expanded to a C level so that I can try it. And hopefully, it will bring me up to the next level. So. Good luck today. Thank you. All right. So it's a two points for win, one for tie. Nothing for loss. We're getting away here from Academy Lane's right. April Mass. The Mixed World Championships. Second match underway. Just so everybody knows also, the standings are on my website. If anybody's interested in knowing what's going on that's not here, right on the front page of my website, the standing sheet will be posted after each round. If they're not here, they won't hear you. They've run away here. Ashley Breton on lane 34. Birthday's February 17th. Kate Finn of Reset on lane 33. Ashley has the one, the four, and the seven. She's from Framingham, Mass, originally from Waltham, Mass. High single of 147, high triple of 397. Bowls have Woburn Lanes, Woburn Bowler Drum, Woburn Mass. And her father got an interest in bowling. Bowling since 2008. And she threw a Wolverine ball drum season high triple. Nice shot there for a 10 to start. Kate Finn, a tough four to start. Probably take the call for a second here. Okay. Ashley. The second ball in the low nine on the spare pickup. Everything but the seven that she got on her first ball. Here's Kate. Good bid on the four horses, but one in seven are all that fall. Paul Grant has located his records. Fast paced here. Nice shot for Ashley in that spare. 20 to ball from two. One swing knockout. Not knockout, one swing what? match. Two points for win. Kate Finn, nice bounce back. In that four box with 10, 14 through two. Kate Finn's birthday, March 15th, Franklin Mass. 86 average right now, going really well of late. High single of 131, high triple 321, high five of 500. Goes out of Ryan, Film Amusements, Millis Mass. This is Brittany Underwood from Rockland Mass, gets three. Brittany average 95. High single 146, high triple 365. Here's Peggy Donnelly, who bowls in the mon monthly Sunday Pro League in Extra Lanes, Ex New Hampshire. Has the check mark in the center. Diamond leaf for Brittany Underwood. Peggy Donnelly goes right, he's up the one and the four. Peggy Donnelly from Blocksford, Mass, average of 101. High single 178, high triple 416. Brittany Underwood starts up with a nine. Peggy for nothing to lose. He did lose the first string. No points for a loss. One for a tie, two for a win. Total point get up to 21 strings through Sunday. Wins the championship for the Mixed Worlds. 
Peggy balls out of Riverwalk Lanes, Amesbury, Mass. His three were there last night to cover the ACST playoffs. Justin Lyonnais to the conference finals. Got away from Peggy, gets the 10 pin. Peggy uses 2.6 pound bowling balls. Brittany trying to pick it up, goes right, he's up the one and the two. Brittany from Webster Timber Lanes, Abington, Mass. Terrific owner and Rob Pun John Pumphrey. She's an all youth champion, all events youth champion in 2013. Nice shot for 10, 19 through two. One three matches. Five today, 10 tomorrow, 9 a.m. live broadcast on Bowling Your Network. You came up and chat. A nice shot for 10. Peggy Donnelly, 18 through two. Nine o'clock Sunday morning, six strings, 21 overall for 22 teams. We are Tommy Ulster here also, Bob. Absolutely, everyone's thrilled. So, Degeneration X coming off a big victory. Um, nothing to lose coming off a loss. Scotty Douglas. Bowling now on lane 34, his first ball. 11 drop, $1 for Al Johnson's kennel pitcher cancer. He points back to us, $1. That's the minimum. You can give more if you want. <laughs> we had five in the last match alone. Great cause. Fun way to have a good, great, helps what a great cause. Nice comeback there. Yeah, I guess it makes you feel a little bit better about getting that one. Mike Nardone <laughs> squeezes in that pin, almost. Mike Nardone also bowled the Atlantic Kennel Pin Singles Tour this season. Bowled Justin Waters, Sean Taylor, and Chris McClellan in his division. Scott Douglas a 10. Nardone a 9. Only one mark so far, Ashley Breton. But D-Generation X with a spare. Lead up bowler. Mike Nardone, 110 league bowler. High single, 166. High triple of 427. From North Grafton, Massachusetts. Bowls at a Mohegan Bowl, West to Mass. Oh, a strike! Scott Douglas. 20 plus two through two. Nardone, interesting lead here. The wood in the middle. Half Worcester, 3 9, 17 corner pins. Trying to kick it over, looks good, but just last minute, pulled right. 3, the 7, and the 10. Scott Douglas beat his brother Tim Douglas, the Atlantic Cannon Open Singles Tour. That's number 7 seed. Went to the conference semis for losing to Justin Waters. One of the great playoff matches. We watched your coverage of that down at Alley Keg. Well, it was a bunch of us were watching it at the Bryan's family amusements in Millis. It, it was it was thrilling down to the last last couple. Mike now doing 16 through two. Speaking of they might have had one that tried to make a comeback. They might have had one that tried to make a comeback. That weird one. Yeah. Oh, Jake Cook starts out with a strike. He threw five strikes in the Friday night mix league I bowled it with Rick Kamrowski and Millis. Nichols, what a try. Leads up the nine pin. That came back with a difficult shot against Justin Waters in the Pro League playoffs in the opening round to win it. He got into the third round. And grazes it for 10. Jay Cook, you gotta check his fastball here, Bob. He's, he's a gunslinger. Usually measured at 36 when it, by the time it's hitting the pins, but out of his hand, I'm guessing he's closer to 39 or 40. Let's see. Same with Matt. Matt Nichols has been. I've clocked him at 39 or 40 all year, bowling with him on Tuesday nights. Nichols in the pocket. That, that was 39 miles an hour right there, Paul. Triangle. Jay Cook on a strike. Half was to left. Oh, got that one a little late. That was 37 down toward the toward the pin. Nichols picks it up. It's fair. 20 the ball through two. Jake, 34 years old. 40 miles an hour. For 40. That's the one in the seven. Jake's high single, 194. He did that in that Friday night mix league. I, I witnessed that five strikes in a row. High triple, 449. High five is 650. Bulls out of Ryan Philly Musings, Millis Mass. He used to bowl in Adick, the old fairway. Jake and nine, 27 through two. Second match of 21 over three days. Again, 9 a.m. live broadcast on Bowling Yard Network. Candlepin chat tomorrow morning and Sunday morning. 10 strings tomorrow, six on Sunday. 
three more after this one today. All right, here's Timmy Douglas off a of fresh off his 179. Missed a couple of nine, you know, single pinners. Otherwise, we might be talking about a 200 there. Fastball. <laughs> Tim Six Douglas, left up. Tim Douglas and Keith Beaupre go back and forth as the fastest ball around. Chris Parkins, Parkinson 35 on that last pitch. Here's Timmy Douglas. For a spare. Oh, oh too full. 44 miles an hour. Parkinson, ooh, right in the hole. Chris and Blackstone Mass, Michigan Midfield Mass. 112 league bowler, high single, 172. As Douglas gets a 10. Parkinson's single high of 172, high triple, 433, and he gets a tough six to start. High five is 623. Bulls of the Millis Mass, Ryan Field Amusements, the home of Outrun the Bear, coming July 23rd. For more information, check with Danny Finn or Kate Finn. Chris uses 2.7 pound bowling balls. Douglas off to the left, has the pack of five. Wood to help. Tim from Marshall, Mass. Hello, oh, yeah. Parkinson yeah. for spare. Yeah. Strike. Yeah. Strike. Yeah. Make that a strike. <laughs> Look at the wrong screen. Strike for Parkinson. Sixteen plus two. Make up for that six box. <laughs> Douglas drills it for a ten. Twenty through two. Well, that tightens it up a bit. It's an eight-pin lead for Degeneration X. Uh, they have they have two spares and a strike, and nothing to lose has Chris Parkinson's strike ball coming up. Well, we, as we start the third, Kate Finn now on lane 34. Ball. All right, Kate, a four to ten to start. Ashley Britton on the left, the lane 33, working a spare, 20 in a ball. Kate Link gets two on the bonus. Britton. 2 1 split as the 3 6 to the right, 7 to the left, two pieces of wood. 27 through 2. One string match, second of five today. Second of 21 overall this weekend. Kate's open. Brenton chops out one, leaves up the 3 and the 7. Tough 5 to Kate Finn is a 4 and a 5. 19 through 2 through 3. 19 through 3. 8 for Ashley Breton. 35 through 3. Nothing to lose. Lost their first match. D Generation X won their first match. Tim Douglas, a 179. Ball got out from Kate there. Ashley, nice ball, but look at this. Oh, it stands. So you carried that left side over. It made a difficult shot. Ash, you want a youth state title? Caitlin, tough start here. Ash, also appeared on Candle for New Generation. She's made the 1710 her best shot ever with no wood. It's an even tougher shot than the 1710 here. Oh, it nudged it. Wouldn't go to the left, right side. Try to grab two on the right. Kate Finn. Five, 24 through four. You can substitute, by the way, for the first five boxes, but if you have a mark, you cannot substitute up to five. So a lot of people will switch up to four. Right. I see the, I see the uh, Ashley and eight, 43 through four. Good start for Ashley. There is a pizza that somebody ordered and a burger over there ready to be picked up. They said they're going to pick it up. It's ready. Peggy Darnley. You ordered a pizza and somebody ordered a burger. 18 or first two on the right, but nothing to lose. 21 on the ball, you know the difference. D Generation X in the lead. Brittany Underwood, 19 through two. Oh. Nice ball! Almost. Strike. And the seventh pin. 1 2 7 leaving the right. Peggy Donnelly. Just a great attitude in the lanes, very focused. Close from left. And a tough break there in the gutter. That won't count be a nine for Brittany Underwood, 28 to 3. Thank you to the one, two. 
26 also, 26 for three for her. Brittany Underwood, just 27 years old, on February 1st. All events youth champion in 2013. Peggy, only two. Brittany, good ball there for a strike, almost, again. She held up. Second chance of the seventh pin. She looked like she's stuck there, but she held up before the, before the uh, line. Her favorite ball moment was traveling for, tur for tournaments, bowling with NHL alumni, including Rick Middleton of the Boston Bruins. For a spare, this time she connects. 38 the ball through four. One string match for Brittany Underwood. Normally trying to get a 10, and not quite, gets a nine. Peggy, 35 through four. Mike Nardone, up next for D-Generation X. 16 is first two. Scott Douglas, a 10 and a strike. Working on a strike here in lane 33 on the left. Mike Nardone actually has nothing to lose, not, not D-Generation X, nothing to lose team. Scoreboard does not switch sides. It's four on the strike ball. One, two, and the four. Now Doan almost more oh. discount the five and ten. Had the opportunity to call both of Mike Nardone's high high five and his high three this season. Douglas an eight on the strike. Twenty-eight through two. Now Doan. Oh, he got it! The five ten! What a shot that was! Twenty-six through three. Scott Douglas, nine. Solid start, 37 through three, one string match. Second of five today, second of 21 overall this weekend. All live on Bowlander Network, Caleb and Chat. Rebroadcast on Spread Eagle Productions. For great Caleb and Bowling, subscribe free on YouTube to Spread Eagle Productions. Mark Dardone, a 3 2 split. Douglas to Cleary. Cleary's got about 20%. For pro bowls that would, all stats provided by Spread Eagle Productions. Nardone got the three. Douglas left the four to the right, the one, three, six, and ten. Four horsemen convert about 36% for pro bowls that would. Nardone to ten. 36 through four. Scott Douglas, eight. 45 through four. I'd like to thank our sponsors, Dr. David Greenblatt, a Merrimack Valley foot specialist. My personal foot doctor had surgery last December 2nd, and searing pain in the left toe, right, right toe. And no pain since then. A great stand-up doctor, great staff, located 62 Brown Street, Haverhill, Mass, next to Holy Family Hospital. It's Jake Cook. At 27 is first, two at a strike, eight and a nine. Nichols That's bonus. bonus. And the nine. On the bonus for Nichols, Matt, two two split, wood to help. 26 through two. Four seven left, six ten to the right. Hook. Oh, what a shot for a spare. Not an easy shot. Second spare, 37 the ball through three for nothing to lose. Jake Hook. Nichols trying to slam it over right to left, but through in the gutter. Mary Mac Valley Foot Specialist, 62 Brown Street, Haverhill, Mass. Anything with the foot issues? Go to the best doctor around, Dr. David Greenblatt, Greenblatt, G R E E N B L O T T, at Mary Mac Valley Foot Specialist, Haverhill, Mass. Call him at 978 556 9700. 978 556 9700. Where it's no pain and all gain. And Nichols, taking the bonus nine, here, trying to cut down that 33 pin lead. Nichols left gets a break, has the one, three, nine, one, three, eight, and ten. Eleven drop, one dollar for Al Johnson's Kendall Fitzgerald Chancellor. That's seven we've seen so far. Two here, five last match. Nice oh, he got it! What a shot that was! Good shots for Jake in this half. 
53 and a ball through four. Third mark of the string. At 35 through three after eight blocks. Those that watching at home may notice Tommy Olsa pulling by lane 32 to our left. I hope to see him once or twice here. Right next to Matt Nichols over there. Matt Nichols is seven, 42 through four. One string matches, two points for a win, one for tie. Nothing for a loss. Nothing to lose. Lost their first match. T Generation X took two points in their first match. Chris Parkinson working on a strike, on a six minute strike. Two bonus balls here in lane 34. Nothing to lose. Off the left gets four. Tim Douglas, two tens, 20 through two. Anchor bowler slices eight as the three to the right, the five to the left. Chris, oh, good try. I was in the boat. So. Three, six, and seven, seven in the strike, 23 through two. Three more matches to go after this, all separate broadcast. Douglas, good, good try, the wood block him. The five pin, the king pin. Good bid by Parkinson, a nine. 32 through three. Tim's high single, 190. Three tens, 30 through three, at a 179 in the first ring today. So that's uh, 209 through his first 13 boxes. 18 pin lead for D Generation X on the left. Parkinson in the pocket, seven, two, five, and the seven. Douglas slams oh, down, strike! What a shot that was! That was fast! Explosive! Throws as high as 46 miles an hour. A strike after three tens, 40 plus two through four. I think sometimes those pins go down before he, the ball hits it, he throws that ball. Parkinson's open. And he gets a 10, 42 through four. Back to the top of the order. Ashley Britton, 43 and a uh, 43 open through four. Stick with Kate Finn in the lineup, 24 through four. Sometimes Bob is good for a ball is confident, let him work through the kinks early on. Ashley in the gutter, have to reset. Kate Finn, we're more like her now, check mark. Five to left, three, six, ten to the right. Give a check mark on a stat bob. How many check marks converted for Pro Bowls? Yeah, those are, uh, I believe that one's right in that 30, 36% range, 36 to 40%. Like a four horseman. It's like a, it is. It's basically the four horsemen with the pins just rearranged, you know, the, the five pin instead of the, the head pin. Ashley, second ball after that gutter ball. That's you do a great job memorizing those. I, I, I have to go look at my charts all the time. I remember those. Uh, it, it takes me a while to learn things. Once I learn, I get it down. I'm a slow learner by nature. Tough six for Ashley Breton. Ashley Breton, 49 half. Kate Finn missed that check mark for a spare. And gets a seven, 31 half. Team trying to get it going. Paul Grant, Bob Lee with you, live from Academy Lane's Haverhill Mass. The Mixed World Championship, one string matches, 21 overall in three days. Nine o'clock tomorrow and, and Sunday, got a ball for Kate. Now she has to stay after five, you must stay in. Nice bid by Ashley Breton, won't go. Kate has bowled great though, she was the runner up in the picture. Uh, that, that That's the one, the three, and the seven. Kate Finn was great in that goal to the oldies, kind of the runner-up team. Hey, hey, Millis, eight. Ashley, 57 through six. <laughs> the wife of Danny Finn. Outstanding job the bowling community teaches young kids how to bowl. And she also helps run over on the bear in the ACST. Nice try. It's a nine. 40 through six. Ashley Breton, 57 through six. So right now it's a 20, let's check the official lead here, Bob. 40 on that? 16. 16 um, for D Generation X. We have an extra hit. Um, Tim Douglas working on the strike and each team with a spare. So 16 plus two balls. 
Brittany Underwood on a spare on lane 34. 38 in the ball. It's four. 42 through four. Peggy Donnelly, 35 through four open. That's the one seven leave. Looks good. Look go. Almost. Try. Couldn't quite get over to the 10. Brittany from Rockland, Mass. 146 high single. Donnelly gets it for a spare. Her first mark, 45 half plus a ball. Nine for Brittany Underwood. 51 half. Try to bounce back here. It's a break with a one, three, and the nine behind the three pin. Becky Donnelly on the bonus. Hooks it right, only one. Tough break. 46 half. Brittany has a half to right, the three, and the nine. Not easy shot to make. Always easy in the first ball, it seems like. Becky's open, has the six to the right, four, seven to the left. You still got a pizza that hasn't been picked up yet, but it's going to be picked up. If you ordered a pizza and said you're going to go pick it up, it's sitting there waiting. And also a couple of chicken finger baskets over there waiting to be picked up. Brand new restaurant open up today here. Got to be laying table mass. Brittany with an 8, 59 through 6. 7, Peggy Donnelly, 53 through 6. It is loud here, Bob. I was just checking the audio. You sound, you sound clear. They can, hear, they can hear the voices in the background, though. They know something. Hey, That's an NFL NBA stadium feeling. Yeah. Scott Douglas, 45 through 4 to strike. 8 fill in the second. Open. Mike Nardone, 36 through 4, looking for his first mark on lane 33. So nothing to lose. It's 4. Oh, he got a nice shot. A spare. Second mark. 55 half plus a ball. Now don't open with a one in the eight. Now don't a nine. With the ball to go. Leads back to 20 plus this ball. On the bonus, goes left, gets a break, has the one, five, in the middle, three to the right, eight in the back. Now don't thin hit, back of five. Douglas, not this time, he's at the one of the eight. Now don't deny the spear, almost good. pulled it off though. Six pin left up. Scott Douglas, younger brother Tim Douglas. Nine. Seventy through six. Second match of five today. Second after twenty one over the weekend. Chris Winnie has a double strike over on the left. Bonus money for that one. Candy bars, no state candy bars though. That's right. <laughs> 55 through 6, Mike Nardone. At a commercial high school. Stay candy bars. Catch it on uh, the, the Approach Podcast. Oh, Danny Finn. To the five. The side door on that one. Break Man Nichols, 42 through 4. At a spare 8 in the second box. Jake Cook, 3 marks in the first half so far. At a strike, 8. A spare 6, now a spare. He gets a seven, eight, nine. What a break that was. Oh, Early Christmas gift. Nine fill there. 62 through four. What a start. Nichols, got it. Second mark, 52 F plus one. Jake, oh. I just went robbed in that time. Jake, an explosive ball. Good fastball to him too, Bob. He was at uh, 40 before. 10 box for Jake. Son of Larry Pope. 
Commence the Friday night mixed league in LS Mass. Hold that league for years and years. Almost 20 years. Up to 72 half in that 10 box. Matt Nichols on lane 34 on the right. But D Generation X working on a spare. 52 in a ball. They're in the channel. <laughs> a lot of practice to clear that channel without knocking down any of the pins. 34-year-old Matt Nichols working in a bonus. <laughs> Grenade at pass, Richie framing in mass. Goes left again and gets four. What the hell? 56 half. 11 draw. That's three now. One dollar. Crowd jumps as Kino Fitzgerald Cancer. That's eight dollars so far on just our broadcast alone today. Five in the first match. Nichols. Oh, good try. Goal post, 7-10. Want to go a little more inside. <laughs> Cook trying to bounce back. Oh, almost pulled it off. Both pulling up. Throw, both pulling at 39 miles an hour in this exchange. Nichols, eight. 64 through six. And it goes this time for Jake. Strong strength so far, 82 through six. We've got Rob that's that wood for the spare. Yeah, here comes big brother Tim Douglas. Lead, lead is down to 18, but Tim Douglas working on a strike. He's the only one with a mark on the board. Tim Douglas, three tens in a strike on lane 34. Chris Parkinson had a strike seven in the second box, open 42 through four on the left on lane 33. Tim's high single again, 190, high triple 457, high 5701. On the strike for double. Six triangle plus the seven. Parkinson head pin. <coughs> Excuse me, two one split plus the two four. Would possibly to help. Four pin to the left. Tim's high 10, 1390. Can he kick it over? Seven one left. Bonus. 47 through four. Parkinson, what do go? Almost. Great pick, Chris. Great pick. Best he can do with that shot. Tim Douglas, a nine. 56 half. Parkinson, 10. 52 half. D Generation X won their first match. Nothing to lose. Had nothing to win in their first match. 24 pin lead for the team on the right, D Generation X. Two points for a win, one for a tie, nothing for a loss. 21 matches over three days, 9 o'clock tomorrow and Sunday, all live on Bowling Network. Douglas slams down the middle. 2-2 Two -two split. Parkinson, nice ball! Oh, strike! What a shot that was! 62 plus 2 through 6. His second strike in the string. Douglas only got one. Tim won an ICBA $1,000 scholarship two years in a row in the Youth League. Won the Men's State Tournament two years in a row and was the Pro Series Playoffs in Abington on April 2nd. You can watch it on Spread Eagle Productions. Great bowling that day. That was pro really, Series Playoffs winner. That was really his emergence. We'd seen him in the Pro Series. He put up a 700. 701, I think. 701. In the, in the September 11th uh, doubles tournament. With Matt Nichols. Matt Nichols throwing a 705 next to up in boards. Kate Finn, nice ball. 2 1 split. Ashley Breton, 67, 57 through 6. Caitlin, 40 through 6. Both open. Chris Parkinson, 62 plus 2, the anchor. Kate, good try. Tim Douglas, last box is a 9, 65 through 6. Ashley, good try. Oh, what a shot. Wow, it's fair off the wall. 67 the ball through 7. Kate in the gutter. It'll be a 9. 49 through 7. A little bit of nerves, you think, for Kate Finn maybe here, big stage? First time going to a huge event. She was at last year's event. Okay. First time, I covered her the bowl in the old is Mellis. Really terrific bowl on the rise. Yeah. Good See you're practicing a lot. Don't worry, just put up some great scores. So don't, don't count her out. Ashley on the left on a bonus gets the bowl with discount to 5 and 10. 75 through 7. Kate with a 9 box is 49 through 7. 3 1. Pick it up. Nope. Ashley throwing a good ball overall. 
We actually have a framing MS from Walt MS originally. Eight and nine, that's no good for Ashley, that's nine. Ashley Breton, 84 through eight, Kate Finn, 58 through eight. Peggy Donnelly for nothing to lose on the right. One-on-one -on -one league bowler, was in the Sunday Pro League, once a month league in Exeter, mixed league. That's a draft league too, it's a privilege to bowl in that league block. A monthly league, in, that draft coming up soon, later this summer. For the right, it's a privilege to bowl in that league. She had 53 of first six. Brittany Underwood, 59 through six on lane 33, gets four. Diamond plus the four seven. Pack of five plus the 10, Peggy Donnelly. 32 pin lead for D Generation X. One mark on the board, Parkinson. Good try, almost. 510 more discount. Wood to help. Brittany open. Brittany, another good young bowler coming up to the ranks. Peggy Donnelly at nine. 62 through seven. Brittany Underwood at seven. 66 through seven. A lot of good young bowlers coming up the ranks on the women's side. Just climbing up the ladder, starting with that C division, the ECST yeah, next year. I've been hearing Matt Nichols talking about them. I hadn't had a chance to see them. Uh, a Ashley and, and Brittany uh, making their debut here. Mickey Darnley, nice ball. 4 7 lead. Huh? Not anymore, just a 7 now. Clary lead for Brittany Underwood. I like their attitudes. They go up to this ball, they don't get all riled up and make a mistake. That's a shot. Darnley for a spare. Got it! 72 to the ball to late. Oh, good try for Brittany. Wouldn't go. Billy Blue to lane 25. Billy Blue, you're up on 25. Brittany at 10. 76 to 8. Peggy Donnelly, 72 in the ball. We can jump next. So great. Leads down, leads now 30, but there are uh, Parkinson's on a strike and Donnelly with a spare. So imagine that lead's going to come down somewhere around 15. Half west their left. Nardone, Mike Nardone, 55 to 6. Scott Douglas had a strike and a spare. 73 6 open here in lane 33. In the pocket. Breaks up the diamond, has the two to the left, the five to the right. Nardone, right. a bid almost. Half push to right, the three and the nine. Mike can North draft in mass. Oh, good try for Douglas. Scott wouldn't get, wouldn't get to go. Nardone, captain, got an eight. 63 through seven. Mike, a 110 league bowler. Scott Douglas, 9, 79 through 7. Scott Douglas, that match with Tim Douglas, the ACST quarterfinals, thrilling match. Valley Cat Lanes. You gotta watch on Spread Eagle Productions on YouTube. Look at this thin hit by Mike Nardone. Oh, got a break there. 2, 7, 9, and 10. Scott Douglas off to the right. Four horsemen left, but 1, 2, 4, and 7. Got a double strike in that second string to help win that match. Watch this one. Good oh. try by Nardone. And that's Scott Douglas at 13 spares and six strikes. Just a head pin there. Catch all these broadcasts today, later on, on Spread Eagle Productions on YouTube. Subscribe for free. Spread Eagle Productions on YouTube for outstanding Canada bowling. Nine for Mike Nardone, 72 through eight. Scott Douglas, a 10, 89 through 8. Right. Still uh, two bonus balls coming up for nothing to lose, but they are 32 pins behind. And about 6.5 for the pro ranks for a spare, and about 8.3 to strike. Yeah. For average fills. For Pro Bowl, um, our averages here are just a little bit, a little bit below, <laughs> below what a, a pro average would be around 120. Um, and that's it. Jay Cook having a good string. He got robbed by a piece of wood, missed a nine drop for spare, but not his fault. Uh, 82 through six here on the right, open here. Matt Nichols, the captain, going fourth, 64 through six, open. Jake just three that time. Right. 
Nichols, half push to right. My least favorite shot. What's your least favorite shot, Bob? I hate the 5'7. Five, 5'7 seven. Five, seven or the 5'10. You, you, you nail it. You nail that uh, pocket. You know. Get, a, get like a three percent chance. Good, good, good bit by Jake. He took the five pin in the hole. That's why I hate the halfway. I did this so many times in my career. Jake Cook over ten, and we didn't go. Ninety-one through seven, one string match. Three more to go after this. Nichols will go. He got it. Oh, that's a huge ten. All that for a ten. Seventy-four, seventy-four through seven. Difference of eight pins there. If he doesn't make, if he, if he goes through that hole again, that's like that's an eight pin loss, and he just made it up. Jake Cook off left again. Sizzles back door. Gets six. Check mark center. Nichols one, two, five, and nine. Jake Cook. Look at that friendly wood for Matt Nichols, though. He's Chris Williams had a double strike over to our left on lane 32. Cook's yeah. open. Nichols will go, yes! Got, Got to go. 84 and a ball through eight. Jay Cook loves golf, camping, his kids. Loves to work. Ten. One on one through eight for Jay Cook. And nothing to lose. Matt Nichols. He comes back 84 and a ball through eight. Anchor ball is Chris Parkinson on the right, working on his second strike of the match. He has a strike in the second for the seven to fill. 62 plus two through six here on the right. On lane 34, from Academy Lane Table of Mass. Mid World Championship. Second match with 21 over the weekend. Five in the first ball. Tim Douglas gets a break as the three and the 10. 65 is first, six open. Parkinson, good try. He's a three. Tim Douglas for a spare. Yes! 75 of the ball through seven. Parkinson is the right for seven. 76 through seven. Tim Douglas appeared in the TV show Candle for New Generation. Want to get his first Pro Series title this year in Abington. Best show he's ever made, he says, a spread eagle with no wood in the 5 7. Your favorite shot, Bob? Mm. Parkin, nice ball strike! Oh! Wow! He's got three strikes this string! Douglas on the head pin, 3 2 split. Five in the fill, 80 through 7. Chris out of the string of the six. A strike seven, a strike seven. Up the weight, is up next. 86 plus 2 through 8, Tim's open. Paul Grant, Bob Lee, live from Academy Lane's Haverhill Mass, the Mixed World Championship. 21 single strings for each team once. Total points wins, two for a win, one for a tie, nothing for a lot, no playoffs. Tim Douglas, 8, 88 through 8. Final two boxes, second string. Kate Finn, kind of a strong finish, 58 through 8. Ashley Breton, B-R-E-T-O-N. Ashley Breton, 84 through 8. Had a spare 7 in the second, a spare 8 in the seventh. Only one that time. Eight lemon drops so far, above our first two matches. One doll for Al Johnson's Kayla Pitch for Cancer. Just one there, Finn. Solo gutter balls. Trying to bounce back. Ashley the one eight nine. Eight, a lemon drop, one dog for Alan Johnson's Kennel Pencil Cancer. He's four in this match. Ashley, nice ball off the wall. Oh, pretty ten. What a shot that was. Smile on the face in that one. 94 through 9. Not quite a while there, Matt. With no, with no wood, it would have been a while. Kate Finn with a big out. Beautiful shot there. Eight. 66 to 9. like Matt's eight there. Matt, you're running, a lot of you're running a lot of tournaments, Matt. When's the next one? Uh, the next one's July 17th. It's a 10 stringer at uh, Spare Time Leeds. In Whitensville, Mass. What's that? In Whitensville, Mass. Yep, Whitensville. Ashley, nice ball. 
Still plenty of spots at 10 and 2, so. Anyone wants to sign up? You got me in there one, right? Yep. Tell us. Oh, K-Fan, nice ball there. Oh, look at this. 6-7 split. Actually, the 5, 9, the 7. Trying to kick it over. Oh, use the pins instead. Good try. Your thoughts on Ashley Breton and Brittany Underwood? Oh, they're both very underrated. They're uh, they're stars in the making. They keep Finn, doing Oh, what a try. Sorry, go ahead. They're, uh, I, I went deep into the bucket to get them, but I'm glad I did so far. They're both going pretty well. So. And a bowl with a smile on their face. That's even better, exactly. right? My big thing this year was team chemistry. You've got to give them the ACSTs. Yeah. Ten for Ashley Britton. I got way too many things going on for that. 104, Ashley Britton. Kate in a 9.75 string for her. Brittany Underwood on the right. You're up 35. D-Generation X over nothing to lose. 76 to 8. Peggy Donnelly on the left. Nothing to lose. 72 in a ball through 8. Brittany, 147 in the 9. Spear one in the fifth, Spear here in the eighth, and six this time, two, four, six, ten to the right. Oh, what a try, let go, almost, what a bid. Two balls in with a smile on their face after they missed a good try. Peggy, six fill, 78 to eight. Good effort, at least up to six, ten. Brittany, good pinning, ten, 86 to nine. And Brittany, an all events youth champion in 2013. Great upside. Nine for Peggy Donnelly, 81. I think 87 for nine. Uh, uh, you mentioned this earlier, a cool factor. Brittany Underwood bowled with uh, Rick Middleton, the Boston Bruins. Oh, cool. Boston Bruins alumni. It's a cool fact. Fun fact. I like to dig in before the matches. A lot of former athletes you see uh, get involved. A lot of former Red Sox pitchers and uh, Boston Rocks, you know, the, the semi-pro pitchers. It's a good, it's a good transition. People have played softball in college. If you if you get the taste for competition, well, you got to find yourself out to a can of pinpoint sooner or later. Peggy goes right, parallel pins plus the nine, one, three, and nine. For Brittany just missed that pin. Donnelly, nice ball. Look, we'll oh, yes! What a shot for Spare! Third Spare of the string, 97 the ball in the 10th. Nine for Brittany Underwood, 95. Big again, part of that draft, draft league in the extra lanes, the monthly Sunday Pro League. A terrific attitude which is all too. Nice ball, but right down the middle. Three. Sarcastic smile, but a good effort. 100 string. Peggy Donnelly near 101 average. Very encouraging goal to bowl with. Again, Matt, like Matt Nichols said, sometimes chemistry is more important sometimes than some of the print two average, higher average. Well, it leads down to 26. Big. Matt Nichols has got a spare for D Generation X. Nice ball there. Chris now Parkinson don't. on a strike. He's going to have to. Uh, he's up big on that strike. Maybe a double. Mike Nardone drills nine. Tim Douglas, Scott Douglas rather. One, three, six, ten. One, three, four, seven for spare. Yes! Oh. The one, three, four, seven. What a shot. Wood to help. 99 the ball through nine. Nardone finally breaks through the spare. 82 the ball through nine. Continue, Bob. Sorry about that. Well, I, uh, I, I, Chris Perkins is going to have to do something big. I say he's going to likely going to need a double uh, on the strike that he left us in the, in the eighth. The lead is still hanging in the upper twenties. Scotty Douglas just added seven to that. Nardone on the bonus five, 87 through nine. Scott Douglas seven filled, 106 through nine. Give you advice. One. Eight and ten. Three pieces of wood on the deck. So eighty-seven. Just dead pin. 
Now don't good effort. Three, four, seven, and ten. Nine for uh, seven for Nardone. Ninety-four strength. Scott Douglas nine. One hundred fifteen strength. The one twelve league bowler. Four boxes to go in our second match of five. Separate broadcast each match. A ball in your net. We're continuing coverage. Separate broadcast though. So a little pause in between as we get the lineup and put them in the computer. And there goes in the bonus. It's that's, up five. that's the post. 89 through 8. Jay Cook 101 through 8. A great strength. Boston bounces away. Could have been a couple more spares. Fastball, left side of the head pin. Has the 3, 5, and the 10. One piece of wood. Nichols, <coughs> 1, 7, 10. Him in the bowling alley, Augusta, Maine, the 1, 7, 10. Mona Lamar, the team here, has a team 1, 7, 10. Bowling it today. Hook is open. Oh, he got it. He got it. Oh. Jackpot. 109 strength from Matt Nichols. Hook and eight. That's for nine for Matt. Sorry, 99 through nine for Matt. One box to go. Jay Cook, Nate, 109 through nine. Jake, not as well known as people would think. He's a dynamite boy, great fastball. Uh, just a fierce competitor with a great ball. And again, I started to a five strikes more on Millis yeah. fighting that mixed league. And you say that you hadn't been drafted for this league. Uh, oh, that's a strike for Nichols, strike. the 10th. 109 plus do. 2. <laughs> Look, like the, so you, about Jake Cook again, you're yeah, saying? You, I, I, I was there when they, uh, for nothing to lose, was talking about, about the upcoming Nationals. He said, and, they, and it, you know, it occurred to them, no one had asked Jake, and uh, they, they made him a teammate. Uh, I think it was league night in, in Willis. He just, just didn't put his, he hasn't put his name in for, for all the professional events. Mostly bowls out of, uh, out of Bryant's, has young kids. Nine, ten, eight. And that was four marks in the string. Jay Cook at nine, 118. Probably deserved a 130, 140 the way it's throwing that ball. Matt Nichols, 109 plus two to finish up. And then two boxes to go after that. Yeah, leads up to 38. So looking to take two straight matches and go four points to none. Eight in the first strike ball, that's the two and the four. Not my rule, obviously. Chris Parkinson on the left working on a strike. Coming up next. Almost pulled it off. Matt Nichols. Nine to strike. 118 string. The captain of the team, Tim Douglas, 88 through 8 open on the right. For D Generation X, they're going to win his second straight strength. Nothing to lose when dropped their first two. Plenty of time left. Uh, you know, Chris Burgess is on a strike. Oh, good ball there for Douglas. Oh, yeah, Douglas Pockets are working his third strike of the string. Off the wall has a diamond. Good piece of wood in the middle of hell. Just about doesn't care. Yeah, they fixed up. Spare the night. Teammates were all holding up a finger because he missed. And the ball. Pockets in the third strike. 96 through 106 in the ball to nine. <laughs> Douglas on the bonus, seven, eight. Parkinson, lemon drop. That's five the first match, five this match, ten dollars for Al Johnson's Kill Pitch for Cancer. All for a fun way to help a great cause. Douglas a spare. Two in a row. 116 of all in the tenth. Parkinson. Tough one spare fill. 107 to 9. Three more matches to go today. 
Parkinson nine, 116, second string. 21 separate strings. Well, each team wants this mixed world tournament from Academy Lanes, Haverhill, Mass. Brought to you in part by Merrimack Valley Foot Specialist, 62 Bond Street, Haverhill, Mass. For a top notch doctor, Dr. David Greenblatt, Merrimack Valley Foot Specialist. Call him today, 978 556 9700. Where there's no pain and all gain. Tim Douglas, 8 Phil, 124. And D Generation X takes it. And go up 4 0 in the standings. Nothing to lose, goes to 0 and 4. We're going to sign up for now. We'll come back with our third match in just a little while. Along with Bob Lee, Paul Grant saying so long. We'll see you in a few minutes on the lanes. Thank you for watching.